But yeah, sometimes something is just so spicy, your body's like, I literally can't. Can't do this. It's almost there. Just heard crazy noise outside. Hello? Hello? What? Guys, I'm getting text message reminders from the insurance company we used when we had the Subaru. Just a reminder, your insurance is going to expire next month for the 2018 Subaru. It's like, you do realize that that's not my vehicle anymore. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Does that mean the person like never switched over their insurance? What does this even mean? Okay, we're gonna add like a teaspoon of cumin or so. You can only eat like half a Thai chili. Like straight up, some places you go in Thailand, when you're waiting for your food, they'll just pop a bowl of green chilies fresh in front of you. Like that's your free appetizer. <laughs> Another Q, when kimchi has an expiration date, isn't it still good? Yeah, I always say like use your senses. Use your senses and then determine it from there, Mary. That, we'll put a little bit of salt and pepper in now because the tomatoes are going in next and then we'll add a couple of liquids. Nom, nom, nom. Like it really doesn't take long once the garlic starts to brown. So then we add this, tomatoes and fresh thyme. And yes, it's gonna pop a bit. Mix that up now. Now it really starts to smell good. Tomato jam. Now we will add a bit of vinegar too, like half a cup maybe. Apple cider vinegar and as well as a little bit of brown sugar. Oh, kimchi fried rice is really good. Let's do like quarter cup of brown sugar to start. You can always put more in later. And then we'll just let this kind of simmer for half an hour or so. Pinch of salt as well. Give it a stir. Hmm. Smells right. Push it down into one layer, but as this comes up to a simmer, the tomatoes will yield more and more juices for this, for the jam. And then I'll just put this over to the side so we can keep working on some other things. While it's cooking along. I can also put some of these other ingredients away now that we're done with. We make a tomato jam. 
Gers, good to see you. Lawyers make the decisions on the expiration dates, not the scientists? That I could see. There's a lot of stuff like that that happens behind the scenes that we are not aware of. Man, it smells good in here now. That's looking really great, too. And we can check out our buns. My nose is running today like crazy. Yes, yeah, so it is good as like a sandwich spread, right? That's basically what it is going to be. Is spread on our breakfast sandwich. And yeah, it's just really good with like eggs. I find this tomato jam just so delicious with eggs. Kind of similar, I guess, to what like a red pepper sandwich spread would be, right? Hypnotic tomato content. I know I don't even want to like take it away from the board. It looks so good it Looks so dang good This way And yeah, just a really good way to like use up extra tomatoes is what I usually do It's good on burgers and hot dogs. Yes, Mary <laughs> No one makes the rules, girls. But yeah, sometimes we do have to be a bit more responsible. What do you mean we can't play video games all day? Why not? Yeah, roasted red peppers, whether it's like the peppers or just the sandwich spread. So good. So, so good. Okay, so first things first, let's check on the dough. Okay, let's feel it. Let's feel the warmth of it. It's definitely growing and getting happier. So we might be able to divide it into the six buns now. Get closer to baking it. Oh yes, we, we are there. We are there. Okay, so we will need a little bit of flour First, let's grab our sheet pan. Chicken wing, chicken wing, oh, literally the timer just went off. And thank you, Vicky, gifting the sub to Gers as well. Welcome, welcome in, Gers. And then we're gonna just line our sheet pan with a silicone baking mat so that we can save parchment paper might have a sneaky sneeze. If I mute really quick, that's why. Oh, excuse me. High powdered toast, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not video games. I think they play video games while they watch me though, is what they're saying. And yeah, this will be, so it's not our last stream, but cooking, yes. Still gonna stream together tomorrow as well. And I have not really decided what we're gonna do tomorrow, but we do have to go charge the car first. So that's like at the mall. But I think after that, we might like come back and go for a walk to an ice cream shop. But who eats ice cream when it's like freezing out? <laughs> So that's not the best option. A little bit of flour, and then we'll need like a bench scraper to divide the six buns. Or if you guys want to look up some different spots in Edmonton that we can go tomorrow. Let's go for a walk. I was thinking that. 
You can like walk all the way along the river valley. But, like there is a little bit of restaurants I can walk to in a neighborhood called the Highlands. I'm like, yeah, could be fun. I could always maybe go for like a burger. I'm not going for ice cream, <laughs> Sam. WTF. I was thinking that it could be fun though. Not to marble slab, just to kind. Just to check it out. Samo just goes to the freezer. I'm gonna get a magnum bar then. Okay, so just enough flour so that this dough does not stick to the board, but we don't need too much. Yeah, marble slab. I actually have like a free ice cream from marble slab on like one of the little cards that they do, the stamp card. Like this is a far walk. I don't know how long it would take us to walk there. Maybe I'll look it up on my phone on the map. But we could also like walk to uh, the Italian center shop, the one closer to us here and get some little goodies from there. Yeah, you love just seeing the sights, even if it's not in person. Well, we got all stream to figure it out. All clean. Pop that over to the side now. This is how our tomatoes are looking, by the way. They're getting all juicy in there. Turn it down a little bit more. Let me give it a stir of sorts. You don't want to cook it too fast and then the tomatoes don't like soften and fall apart enough. There we go. So this is going to get divided into six. And yes, it is a sticky, buttery dough. Let's just try and form it to an even shape here first. Perfect. The Italian store was fun. So yeah, I can take you to another location of it, like the original one that they opened in the city. It's like pretty close to us. I wonder how far of a walk that would be. Or we can just like pop there on the way home, even, and then still go for our walk once we're back. Maybe that'll be the best. Never go to Marble Slab if you're allergic to nuts. Oh, I could see that. Low Jack, good point. Yeah, like how do you sanitize that slab, right? Okay, so we're dividing each of these portions into three of six brioche buns total a little bit less on each of that perfect should take this from this one put it over there i think we good yes and now we're gonna make our buns. Move those over. Add a little itch. Yeah, I didn't use too much flour, so then we'll flip it over. And form it into a ball by basically folding the dough back into itself. And this will also like form a bit more gluten structure too. And then I'm also trying to squeeze out some of the air. <laughs> Misha's slap with Sam with the anchovy. He wouldn't even feel it. I might use a little bit of flour. It's not like sticky, but it's sticking onto my hand and like won't let go. Let's see what this does. better 
Okay, so we do this until it's really smooth and then we keep the seam on the bottom of the bun and then you place the seam onto the prepared baking pan. So we can do six buns on the sheet pan. And then just as we put the little buns or dough balls on there, let's just keep them covered with this towel. That way it won't dry out and you'll like keep more of the heat in there as well. Okay, again. The vinegar in the tomato jam is like clear in my sinuses. Some of those bubbles out. And we'll make our fake proof and chamber again in the oven. Really important. But the dough feels so nice today. So easy to work with. Look at how shiny and smooth it is. Do I ever add wheat gluten to the flour depending on the type of bread? I've never used wheat gluten. I don't even know if I know what it is. I've heard of it though before, Lojack. And thanks, Mish. I got some practice handling balls. What can I say? It makes it more airy. Interesting. I think that'd be like a special order ingredient. I don't think I've ever seen it in the like grocery stores here. Okay, so then we'll have to wait like another half an hour, maybe a little bit longer, depending on how quick these rise up. And then we can bake them. Bob's Red Mill makes it. Okay, so it probably is there then. Just I've never looked for it, right? Have you ever used it? It's like the best one. Whoa. Once you've used it? Yeah, you bake like once a year. That's okay. Loud. Okay, awesome. Tuck that back. We will need our egg white that we saved yesterday on stream to do the egg wash for those before they go in the oven to bake. That's what makes the brioche buns really shiny on top. I don't know if we'll need to wipe up a floury mess, so I'll get the cloth. Doot, doot, doot. And we'll plug in that oven again. <laughs> Just unplugged it because I got so mad. And it's gonna beep, so even when you plug it back in, it beeps again. R.I.P. Anonymous gifter, Anon. How, I guess I'll just write anonymous on the balloon. Thanks for gifting this sub to Girly Doe, who's actually been with us for six months in a row. Boom, there you go. Okay, anonymous can be gray, because they're anonymous. <laughs> 
And then we'll get to see what our sub points are at because we might have crossed off some of the goals already on stream. I think we did actually, especially the bits ones. Let's see. Yaggers. Vicky gifting the subbies. Yeah, spam those emotes around the world. Anonymous. That is like one of my favorite emotes as well. It really is. It's so simple, but just perfect for what it does. It will pop you up there, Anonymous. Can I reach? Reach, Kate. Boom. Phew. <laughs> Misha's like, this is mine. <laughs> okay, turn this off. We're only making a fake proofing chamber, not a real one. We're not baking just yet. Okay, so those have got a double in size still, so just kind of take a mental picture of how that looks. Might move. Can I even move it over now? No. Might have had to move that one over, but it's not gonna happen. Keep it warm in there. Okay, I'll do 30 minute timer on that. Look at my cute little bat things. I think I gotta fix them because my hair is being weird now too. Your battery ran out? Mowing your lawn and mulching all the leaves. There's a lot out there, I'm sure. So now you're recharging it? Well, because you still got some more stuff to do. Let's check on this. It's actually looking so good. This is our tomato jam. Let's get the steam fan. Nom. Okay, and then I'll write down the bun increments. Divide times six. Check. Proof. 30 minutes. Chiggity check-in. Got an egg wash. And then what do we bake at? I'm guessing, excuse me, like 350 Fahrenheit? You're going mobile? Okay. Love you, Vicky. Thank you for everything that you contributed today. You know I'll be around for, well, around five more hours at least. You can always pop back in later. Hey, my mouse is back. Sweet. So you're saying tree fitty. The only time your batteries ever run out. Nice. Yeah, there's just so much leaves this year. <laughs> He's using it. Okay, our brioche buns. Yay! Oh, sometimes they bake the brioche buns in a muffin, like a really big muffin tin. Interesting. Oh yeah, and we will... Everything spicy too, because it's so good with like breakfast. Some everything bagel spice on the top of the buns. Holy! 
Did we not get an alert for that? Vicky's thousand bits or was I just talking? Vicky, thank you so much for the thousand bit leaves. We're now at 41%. Let's go. She's like, I'm out of here, but wait, there's more. Hi, Lee Donald. How is it going over there? Hey, still looking for my brioche. Three seventy-five Fahrenheit. Yay! For only fourteen to eighteen minutes. That's it. That is not even long. Three seventy-five F. 14 to 18 minutes and thank you very much for that as well annie 1000 more bitlies now at 42 <laughs> percent i'll match that 375f yay 14 to 18 easy mm, that's looking good <laughs> Cookie, Cookie's like, I'll match that. Another 1,000? Holy. Okay, what do I have to do for you guys for that one? This is almost done, I think. Now that I stirred it up, Yay! there's only a little bit more liquid to cook out. That's exactly how we want it to look. Yeah, it's getting like more and more saucy. Looking more like a spread of sorts for the sandwich. Yes. Kimmers. Sheesh. With the 2,000. <laughs> That's a better number. 45%. Mickey, you're making pumpkin soup tomorrow? What? 20? We need Bean Boozled while we wait then. Annie needs a balloon. We're in shock. <laughs> You're one month allotment. <laughs> hey. Guys. Gold for Annie. this little yellow orange one we'll do a couple for all of you guys do three three of those for the bitly crushers yeah just a casual level five as this slowly finishes might as well Oh, nice, LaDonald. Thought you were gonna have 12 hour shift, but you got to go early. So good. You got chicken wings forever, Samo. balloon ah oh, maybe tomorrow at the end of the IRL stream if we make it back home we'll pop all the balloons together got to open the extra tax Let's 
chilling up back there. Nice, Vincent got one. I'm waiting for them to finish and we'll welcome everyone in. We finished? Nice. Hi, Carses. How's the day, friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome to our fun and shenanigans going down. Someone's making hummus cups? Yum. I want that. I want that. Healthy. Okay, Annie with the 20 gifted subbies. A total of 675 now over the years. We got Chaser44, Scrabble God, Jodes, or is it Yodes? Rogue Amazonian, CMB2874, Cozy Cali1, Slump D273, Dan Katie, Lazybug007. Nice. I think they were here earlier, right? XT to the era. We got Ice Dialer84, Katniss Ross, Shecht, Crazy Chain116. Princess Mandy 85, Albus the Professor, chat username, hilarious, Fright Knight, Instant 74, and Chac Chacarolis. Thanks for that, Annie. Honk, have fun out there. I hope it doesn't rain. I'll cross my fingers for you. And yeah, just let us know how it goes. Bonk's going to like an outdoor concert, which I think is so cool. I've not done that in many years. It's really fun though. And stay safe out there too, lastly. I think that's all I got. <laughs> we have steamed ourselves out while we did that. Bye! Have fun, you two! We got a level four completed. We were like halfway through level five. Thanks for the second boost train of the day, everyone. Blast off. <laughs> That's the rocket sounds. 20 subs and all of the bitlies. Can I blow this one up? It's so small. That was so hard. The smaller balloons are way more difficult. This is not soup. This is going to be a condiment. And it's almost done. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. One of your friends is going to Iron Maiden concert in Washington tomorrow. Is that also outside? In the football stadium. That's like how they do it here too. During the summer and fall. It's where they play football as well. The fact that I haven't broken these small balloons. I'm impressed. Yeah, usually when there's just a couple like juice pockets on top now, that's when we know we're so close to being done. So yeah, after we have our breakfast, after we finish our breakfast sando cooking together, then we can roll into our pole for lunch. Well, a series of pulls, really. I think there'll be five. So it'll be about like 10, 10, 15 minutes worth of pulls. Guys will help me choose a bunch of ingredients to use to cook lunch. And then we might do a giveaway because I think we crossed that off too. Yeah, you always think that these like streamathons or marathon streams will go by slow, but they actually go by so quick. That's so cute. Nice, you're all done cleaning. That's another thing that I'll be doing tomorrow after the stream. Mass cleanup. A 
love those little ones. Capital One Arena. Okay, so it is indoor. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no. Not Buddy. <laughs> Destruction by Kate. Get back in there. Let's check one more time because I think it's done. Yeah, and then you can see how it's getting like kind of dry underneath. So let's turn this off. Also just give it a taste here because we haven't really tasted it yet. Little scoop to dupe from the side. a little pinch of salt and that's really it it should be like sweet and sour tasting so we did saute onion garlic then we did the cherry tomatoes with the fresh thyme we did cumin brown sugar and apple cider vinegar that's it it's so simple like double the amount of vinegar to sugar and then just some salt and pepper. Mix that up and we'll pour it into a container. You can serve this warm, lukewarm, cold. See this also being like a good sort of condiment to eat with like your cheese board or something like that? We got options. How do I want to do this? Maybe I'll move this down first. I've made this stuff so many times. But it's very easy for me to make this. And like, it actually comes out on the first try. So good. Oh gosh. Splashing. Good thing I'm wearing black. Nice. This is kind of the amount that I wanted to make with this too. Is like two cups worth. Not too much. That way if there is a lot extra, I can just pop this little cup in the freezer when we go. Yummo. Tomato jam. Thank you for the follow, Harshkoff. How are you doing today? I think I'll just pop this right here. Let it cool off. Dun, dun, dun. Like the combination of cooked diced tomatoes with also raw cubed tomatoes for salsa. Yeah. Like the best of both worlds. <laughs> yeah. Throw the tomato jam on the butterboard cookie. Okay, should we make our sausage patties? And then I'm just gonna go grab the egg white out of the fridge so I can warm up a bit for the egg wash. We saved that yesterday. Oh, and I'll grab the mayo while I'm here. I think we're just gonna do plain mayo. Cause the way that that tomato jam turned out is so good. I don't really need anything else.
Can you have it warm or does it need to be cooked? Yeah, you can serve it warm. You could even serve it cold. It's really up to you. <laughs> My bat is hitting the <laughs> above camera there. Oops. They're wildin'. So next we're gonna form our sausage patties from a mix that we did on stream once upon a time. Let's use some parchment to like smash the patties down. Even that out first. Hello boss man. Welcome in friend. What are we cooking today? We're cooking a lot of stuff, but we are starting with the first thing listed there, which is our sausage breakfast sandwich. Do that and then we'll cut that smaller. Basically like patty paper, I guess. that and crimson how's it going today if i missed you earlier can i hold this and cut it maybe not kind of okay sounds good annie go crush that got this. It is going to be delicious, boss man. Okay, we got like a four stack there. Should be lots. If you could ever source pasteurized eggs, you'll start making your own mayo aioli. You don't just want to use like non-pasteurized, like just regular eggs. I'm just going to put some gloves on so I don't have to touch the raw sausage mix you haven't had any food yet today weasel i actually haven't eaten a ton yet today either holding out for this breakfast sando let's do this kind of lay it out Oh, not with the kiddos. That's fair. That's fair. Ah. Don't. Oh, even the sausage is super garlicky. So yeah, I'm happy I didn't do the garlic mayo. That actually seems like a good size. Like we're not making the sausage like a burger. But it doesn't have to be like a five or six ounce patty, right? Probably better yielded to like a three to four ounce patty for a breakfast sandwich. You're eating a cheese roll, Mary? Nom. Hi, Vicariously. How are you? Yeah, I hope everyone's good. So far, so good. It's been a busy, a good busy morning, let's say. I'm doing good. The weather is just like, Kind of the weather that makes you want to stay inside all day. But that's to be expected for this time of year. And I think I'm just like... Kind of in a bittersweet little moment or headspace as well. As this is like one of the last cooking streams for a bit. Okay, so we got five sausage patties. Nice. Nice. I was aiming for four, so that works. That one's just a bit smaller. I'll take that off. Maybe that. Even it out. Notice how I didn't really overwork the sausage at all. Just kind of loosely balling it up. Do a bit more. So this is what I'm gonna do. We will stack all of them onto this one paper. Put that there. We're gonna do this. 
I'm gonna take one of my gloves off. Let's do the right hand for this part. We're gonna take this other piece of paper, give it a little press, then we're gonna take a really big can of tomatoes. Big old can of tomato. We're gonna smash it. Just like that. Sausage patty. Perfect. Might go a little bit more. Because like Blood Oak said yesterday, surprising how much things like shrink up. If you don't flatten it enough. Last stream for a bit, it is Weasel. So I'm gonna be going to work up with Sam. I leave on Thursday, Thursday morning next week. I guess I couldn't, didn't have to transfer that off, but you guys get the deal, yo. Easy to overdo it with the sausage on a breakfast, Sammy. Yeah. We, so Finn's home this weekend, so I'm not gonna do the jalapeno mayo. We're just going really simple with it, dust. If it was just Rando and I though, I've done the jalapeno mayo before on stream. And basically all I do is like cube up the jalapeno into small pieces and pan fry it a bit. And then mix it in with the mayo like that is so dang good. I'm hoping that these patties won't really stick together if I layer them up. Let's see. Yeah, I've posted it a couple times in Discord about it, Weasel, but it's easy to overlook things for sure. As well, you guys all have your own lives going on, right? Oh, and dust for the jalapeno mayo, you could even do like some garlic slices sauteed with the jalapeno too for extra flavor. Delish. <laughs> you drink a lot. Thank you for your honesty. Yeah, you probably read it once upon a time, but it didn't quite stick. Should have still made it. Well, we got a lot going on today. Hi, little mama Silva. How's your weekend? Last week of drinking for you and then you're stopping the rest of the year? It'll be good for you. Yeah, surprisingly, these will shrink up to the size of the bun for sure. When we cook this sausage, you can see how like nice and fatty it is too. Nom. Oh, a Mish request. I just seen that. You snuck that one in, Mish. Cook a Riesling. So like rooster with Riesling wine. I've never heard of this. We've done Coco Van before. Is that just like a riff off of that, Mish? Thank you for using up your pots and pans points. You are a sneaker. Oh, I've never made that. We've done the Coco Van, but nothing with Riesling before. Hello, Bugs Bunny. What are we making? We are just finishing up making some sausage patties for our breakfast sandwich coming up here. Ooh, yeah, post that in the Discord, because then I can pull from that recipe later on. Oh, you're a little bit hungover, little mama. That's allowed. It's a lifelong journey, Weasel. For sure. Especially if, like, addiction runs in your family. I don't know if it ever gets easier per se 
Repetition is key though. Okay, let's keep going. Mayo, sausage patty, we got the eggs there. Let's slice our Gruyere cheese. One minute and 30 on the buns. Proofing in the oven. Might need a bit more. Oh yeah, and then after we slice the cheese, we'll just wash up some greens. And then we're pretty good. Six whiskey sours. Okay, so when I was in San Diego, I had like, there was a couple nights where we had beverages together, but I literally had one, like one drink and I was destroyed the next day. Like such a bad hangover. I was just like out of it. So yeah, me and alcohol, we don't really get along anymore. Like even when Bonk and I hung out, we went for the lumpia. I had one beer and like still the next morning, I was like messed up. So part of me thinks I might have like an intolerance. Some people have that. But yeah, if I had six of those, moly, would be dead. This is our Gruyere cheese. The leftover amount from yesterday's stream. So I'll trim up these two sides of it where the rind is. But then we'll leave the rind on this one in because I'm not going to cut all of it up. But it does kind of protect the cheese. There's a reason it's there. Helps it from drying out too much. But yeah, we'll just do nice little thin slices. Probably like four of these on each sandwich. That's the bun timer. We'll see if they are risen enough for us to turn the oven on. Okay, so total... like 12 pieces of cheese. Probably, Trev. Yeah, that stuff definitely affects you when you're young. cook a lot with the alcohol but you still don't drink that's a good thing i think it's really a good thing it's better for you we got enough cheeses one two three seven eight nine ten extra for good measure perfect i'll just pop that over there really in the spoon holder Bloody Mary and Margarita, a couple of your faves. Mary's like, I only like it because it's got my name in it. <laughs> Cheese complete. Look at this nice head lettuce. Look how it's like so green on the side and then it gets kind of like dark. Dark in the middle. So I'll just take off some leaves and wash and dry them up. You don't have to wash the entire bit of it. And definitely take the elastic off because that's what makes the veggies go bad faster. We always start by taking off the, the outer leaves, right? Oh no. I'm glad I opened that up because that is not okay. Oh my god. We just bought this on Thursday. Oof. I hate when lettuce does that. It's like, surprise! I'm rotten. Gross. When you think you picked like the best piece. A buggy got in there for sure. Maybe it's still in there, who knows? Yeah, just pick off the pieces that don't look too good. The giant spider crawls out? No, don't even say that. <laughs> okay, 
That's not good enough for a sando. I don't even know what that one is either. Ew, it's, there's still more. There's literally still more. What happened here? They're like trying to trick us with the dark leaves. Surprise, it's actually rotten. That's odd. Now I'm thinking about a giant spider that is going to crawl out of here. I think the leaves might have got a bit frozen or something. They just look odd. Like even, okay, through the whole center of it. I'm just going to open the whole thing. Nothing is okay. None of it is good. Like it just keeps going. I always call that like the cancer because once that little bit of bad stuff hits everything else it makes everything else go bad <laughs> where did this lettuce come from <laughs> it's seen stuff I don't need much of the greens anyways, but like still. What happened? That whole leaf is gone though. Same with that one. And like you don't just put it back if you notice it's going bad. That's how you go from one whole head of lettuce down to half real quick. I mean, t it's not really the season for fresh greens anyways. I'm sure these are all coming from the greenhouse, but still, right? That'll be enough for us. Then I'll make a nice little crunchy salad with all of these end pieces sometime during the week. So I'll just have to wash that up for sure, then use the salad spinner. one. So don't break up the leaves. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, so that's what's gonna happen, Weasel. Because while Sam and I are away, we're gonna use Discord a lot. Keep posting photos for you guys there. Maybe even some, like, videos. And yeah, when we come back from the shift, it'll be really nice because like we don't have to worry about going to work while we're off here. Literally just get three weeks off at a time. You can do a lot of streams in three weeks straight, right? Might not be quite as many as we are used to having because what we do like four, four a week right now-ish. That'd be like 16, 16 streams in a month around. Like it's still doable. Do they need electricians? I'm not sure. You could always apply and see. I know they always need like mechanics and tradespeople like that to like maintain the equipment and stuff. <laughs> A 
flowery side of my salad spinner. It's so loud. <laughs> it sounds like a plane. You need a change of pace. I think everyone lives pretty comfortably up there. If you're sick of the city life, definitely for you. If you're someone who loves to reside in this city and have all of your commodities really close to you, maybe not the best. Like some people literally just can't handle not having like the internet around all the time. It's like, they'll just get to this site and leave. Be like, nah, I'm going back home now. It's like, what? Like you can't survive without internet for like three weeks or like just less of it. Yeah, ironically, heavy snows are delaying flights all across Canada. I was actually shocked that Sam made it to Goose Lake yesterday because it was super snowy for a bit there. Hey, there you go, Mary. Yeah, that was not very quiet at all. Slice Gruyere, lettuce greens. Let's check on the buns. Turn that oven on. I gotta go blow my nose. Hey, we remembered what the size were, right? Hey, they're, they're growing. Okay, so they'll grow a little bit more while the oven comes up to temp too. So it stays warm up there. Like 350F will do. I will be right back. Just gonna go blow my nose really quick. My little buddy keeps falling down. What are you doing? He's like, I don't live here, Kate. You will live there. Behave. Back, welcome back, Annie. Okay. Move this over for now. Let's make, actually first, we have our egg whites saved. They told us to do this for the recipe yesterday. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water and then we'll whisk it up so we can actually like spread it over the top of the bun. And do warm water. Don't need much, that's for sure. Then let's get a pastry brush. Thank you for the conversion amp. Break up the egg white the best that you can. And then this will add the sheen on top of the bun and also help our everything spice stick onto there. There you go, Mish. Yeah, we also have the conversion command that Vuen made for us. You can convert your Fahrenheit to Celsius and then Celsius to Fahrenheit as well.
Hey, that looks good. Nice and smooth. You just don't want the egg white to be like kind of snotty, snotty weird pieces of the egg white. No, no. We'll get these done up. And then like I said, they can go back above the oven. Cause they can definitely take a bit more rise. From what I'm seeing, got like a little fuzzer, little sneaky fuzz got on there. There. <laughs> what is the interesting part then? Albumin. The albumin is what contains the yolk, right? Or is it all of the egg white is the albumin? It's all of the white, okay. I was thinking it's like the little sack that holds the yolk together. But it's all of it. High pressure can also just cook the egg white, is what you're saying. Whoa. Thanks, Trev. I'm excited for these. Done with that now. Now we'll come in with our everything bagel seasoning. <laughs> when he prepared, the, or when he described the experiment, he said his wife prepared the egg whites by a well known feminine technique. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, it was in 1914. He didn't know it better back then. Girls were still yucky, had cooties. It's like I'm trying to like stop this stuff from going everywhere with this one hand there, but it's really not doing much. So let's just commit. So this is poppy seed, sesame seed, garlic, and onion. Yeah, and a little bit of salt too, which is awesome. Okay, so now we'll pop that back above. I think I'll leave it uncovered though. Get that warmth from there, done with the towel. Oh, it was an omelet. Oh, the James Corden stuff. A lot of stuff is like happening with this dude. Bit of a PR problem over how rude he was when a restaurant served him his omelet. Ah, so that's what happened. Yeah, I keep seeing stuff rolling around on Twitter about him. And I was like, what happened? That's what happened. A bit of egg on its face. <laughs> Doon, doon. It's only like 15 minutes for the buns. And then we can probably start cooking. Well, yeah, we will cook the eggs and the sausage when the buns come out, because then they can rest.
Interesting. They're my long people. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we got everything else, right? Okay, I'll put the cheese back as well since we're done slicing. Get rid of this we don't need anymore. Keep the area clear. Bam. Okay, straight up, I'm gonna put a hoodie on. I'm putting my Twitch sweater on. Lettuce and eggs? How is lettuce wrecking the UK? <laughs> What's happening with lettuce now? <laughs> yeah, Mary. Maybe you should have just ordered the fish and chips then. Just put that there for a moment, I think. Sorry if the audio is odd. Let us find out. I always say, let us be friends. Dude. Pop you up there now. There we go. Winter is coming. Anyone else can't handle when the hoodie things are not the exact same length or is that just me <laughs> okay that's funny <laughs> what would last longer a head of lettuce or a pm people chose the lettuce that's savage It bothers you guys too. I'm glad it's not just me. It's like, it's gotta be perfect. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab the pans we need for cooking. Maybe I'll just need one. It's never an easy feat to cook eggs and other breakfast things if you don't have like a flat top griddle. So I'm gonna try and use like just my big cast iron with the wide bottom. Try and use that solely. Probably cook the sausage patties first, then put them in the oven to stay hot while we quickly finish the fried eggs because we flip the eggs so it should go nice and quick. <laughs> Sam says just me. <laughs> Om um, dog, you don't have very high fashion standards. Let's just say that. <laughs> oh, nice. So at least you got your beef. You didn't have steak per se, but you're having prime rib in your life. The British government starting to look like Italy. What is going on over there? What is this world? Do this. We will not be using this pan. I think I heard the oven. The oven's like, I'm ready. This. I think we'll set a, a 10 minute timer. We'll do a 10 minute timer. Nicey. Dun 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 dun. Six buns going in. Let's do 10 minutes on the clock. Perfect. The weather, let's see. Chat, if you guys wanna see the weather where Sam and myself will be, they also have like some cameras. 
is my OBS not working again for the links? I don't get it. My mouse? I think my mouse is broken, Sam. The Apple one? The cursor, I can't click on anything. Halo? What the heck? If you ever want to see one of the worst things ever invented, it's this. No, there is sound. We do have sound here. I did notice that it's a little bit low. <laughs> yeah, the magic mouse. I'll show you magic, all right, when it flies out the window. <laughs> you don't hear nothing? What are you guys talking about? We have audio. Oh, now it works again. <laughs> Things I can't handle. That. We want to buy overpriced items, we'll go shopping in the supermarket. <laughs> Blood Oak. Yeah, literally all of, all of the Apple most products. They've never really been good, have they? Only razor, nice. Yeah, I have another, just like a small little wired mouse. But that usually works the best. Yeah, isn't it cool, Amp? The weather display for up there. So save that for yourself. Bookmark it. Okay, that's getting set up next. Set up our cooking area here. While we're waiting. That is our pen that we will need. Our sausage patties are warming up on the side. We don't have to season them or anything like that. We have our cheese. We have mayo, lettuce, the tomato jam, and lastly, the eggs got everything that we could need. Get rid of our extra egg whites. We do not need that. And now we're laughing. So I'll try and do my bro and Finn's breakfast sandals first, one of each, and then I'll do mine afterwards. Link it one more time, thanks. Let's see if I can click on it now. And now it works. What the heck? There's a strong breeze. Oh, with the wind chill minus 27 already. Good thing that jacket came in. <laughs> Holy frick, the buns are really rising. I was worried about them. Can you guys see them back there? They are growing. That prime rib and rib was in the oven. Yes. Tasty bits. Okay, and I think we're gonna take a moment. And I'll see what we've crossed off for our sub point goals and such already. Peeking. Nice, we're almost at 50 subs. You guys are crazy. Did you laugh at the one sub point call I did? I was like 300. So this is from the last subathon, by the way. 
bake without a recipe. So at some point, we'll bake without a recipe. I might even try those apple muffins without the recipe. We're at 3.52. Okay, so we have a Twitch pin giveaway. Let me write these things down. Wait, the one webcam's upside down. I wonder if it got like blown over. One of the pins that I got from TwitchCon will give away. Maybe I'll get that set up for when we eat. We can do a quick giveaway. And then nice. So yeah, we're just over the 350 sub points. So we got to bake the Pillsbury cookies that we picked up on Thursday. Do you guys remember? Pillsbury, I think they're like pumpkin something else. So when we bake those, then we'll do our other baking without a recipe. Another one. Oh, another thing came in. And another thing came in. Where is it all? <laughs> I just opened the curtain to peek out and cooker dogs looking right at me from the shop door. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Eric, what it do, sir? How's it going? Chat crashed all the bit goals for the stream too. I love how you're like on it, Blood Oak. I think they did, right? Even the face tattoo one? We got a paring knife giveaway. Gotta go get him. I think Bran brought him inside. Just now. He did. Samo, the jacket came in. It fits really nice too. I think this is gloves. And then this is the pants maybe. Thanks, Bran. <laughs> More goodies. And yeah, so flat top, exactly, like the griddle. So I'm going to be going away from like my little burner sets like this that we've been using on stream. And think of it, I'll be using it like a French cooktop. So you can cook right on the griddle awesome for breakfast honestly like the easiest pancakes etc but you can also just like put your pots and stuff all on the griddle to use as a surface too so that's for sure like the most versatile you've seen them being used i love flat tops yeah they're so nice and it'll be electric too which is awesome I wonder if they have a flat top. Actually, yeah, I think I seen the flat top up at Goose Lake when we like FaceTimed. Oh, I think she'll still remember us. Like a line cook grill? Yeah, like it's just a flat metal surface. And so this one will be like the length of three burners, which is so nice. So you can even like set different areas of it at different temps. So let's say like left side, we do lower heat for like simmering sort of things. And then the right side we do, like we can crank it, right? And like sizzle things, like cook burgers right on it, stuff like that. And hi, Suki. Yeah, I don't know if I said hi to you early. So hi, Suki, welcome in. Oh yeah. We can do geocaching up there. I have the app and an account, Alti, because I used to geocache all the time. Annie, I don't, I don't know. The flat top you're asking about at Goose Lake? Ah, 
You know what I would like to see? A proper burrito using the Kitchen League ingredients. So, like, they could have used whatever they wanted to make those. They literally could have used whatever, like, instant rice, anything. We gotta check those really quick, the buns. We're getting carried away. I don't understand why I can't hear my watch timer. But I think they're done. I think they're done. Let's get the thermometer to check really quick. Mm, not quite. We gotta go a bit more. So I'll just turn down the heat a touch. Yeah, I forgot actually with the brioches, it browns a bit quicker because all the butter in there. So I turned it down to like 325. It was only reading like 160 in the middle. We needed it at 190 Fahrenheit. So it's close though. So let's do it just another five minutes. The hard part would be making the burrito, like the tortilla from scratch. You couldn't even, like they only gave everyone 20 minutes to cook that stuff anyways. So then if you really think about it, you only have 15 minutes to cook whatever it is and then five minutes to put it on the plate. So I didn't even feel like that was long enough to really make anything delicious, right? They were seriously set up for failure. Even if I got up there and cooked, like whatever I would have made would still not make me happy, right? Bagel sandwiches? That'd be good too. Okay, five more minutes on those. I'm still looking through my little list here of things we crossed off. Pairing knife giveaway for sure. And they're all packed up already in a package so you can't see it mukbang chat shoes is we can use that for tomorrow even and yeah the sabotages if it's 12 hours the limit we're gonna only do 10 today <laughs> the Vitamix, <laughs> loudest thing you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> what else is super loud? Well, like Hobart mixers, if you turn a Hobart up to like max speed three, insane with the paddle or the whisk in there. Yay! Holy! <laughs> Another 5,000? Annie. Seriously, thank you so much. We're now at an even 50% of the way through that bit goal for the flat top. <laughs> you had to even it up. Okay, we for sure crossed it all off then. Sam blind taste test. So that we will do when we're back. That'll be a fun stream. We're doing a merch giveaway today, still too. Sweet. Yo, I like ordered a bunch of merch samples like weeks before I went to San Diego and they said they would be here like the week I got back from San Diego or it would arrive while I was away. Still waiting. A new bit alert on stream? Okay. And then lastly, fake tattoos on my face. So now I have to go out and stream tomorrow with all the fake tattoos still on. Let's check these buns again. 
<laughs> I do have some like nice small tattoos, so we can make it look pretty good actually. Okay, let's check. Go quick. Okay, almost. Almost. Turning it down really helped. There's a minute on there left anyways. See? Like, I got some really cool ones that we can use that are, like, not very big. Let's see what this pack is. <laughs> this is my favorite part of these tattoos. What they're used for. We gotta look in this view. Gym. Party. Is it gonna focus? Dancing. <laughs> the Oonk Party. Swimming the Beach. Music Festival. Dinner Dress. <laughs> what? Traveling. Tattoo Photo Session. <laughs> Hi, I'm going traveling. I need some tattoos. Okay, for sure one of those. Because you guys know I love skulls. There's so many good ones, though. <gasps> <laughs> the mom one. Dragons. <gasps> the snake ones. This is going to be fun. Okay, we'll do tattoos after breakfast. It's the little things that we get excited for, isn't it? What's an oonk party? I think they might have meant to say punk, but then they put the O instead of the P. Buns. Done. They're beautiful. Mm. Golden brown and delicious. So now we'll pop those up there to cool off. While we finish everything else up. Okay. On. Let's go. Punk party. <laughs> They're really gorgeous looking, aren't they? Actually, maybe while we're waiting, we'll take a couple photos. They always look so good with the photos on the pan. And you can see, like, this one blew out the side almost. What's going on here? And yeah, there's just something about the everything bagel spice. Looks so good. Samo with the break time? Perfect. Body break. Oh, yeah. It looks good. He's breaking himself. Oh, yeah. Might be able to go to the gym again. I'm also trying to heat up the pan underneath. By putting this pan on top. The residual warmth. Gym after worky. That makes sense. <laughs> what do you mean by might? Why are you taking it so personally? Okay, I'm gonna replug some stuff over here. I was charging the gimbal for us to play games later. When we're sick of cooking, I'll charge the iPad for chat. Your hot things. Not quite. Just underneath the pan. Mmm. 
prime rib photos. Let's go. I'm glad you guys like those because there's going to be more and more and more coming your way. Okay, while we're waiting, I'll open these other things. We got the jacket already today. The ribbies are your dinner tonight. Shucks. Nice. Snow pants. Snow pantaloons. <laughs> hey, they stuck the sticky bits to it. Arctics. So they don't even make... They don't even really make Arctic gear for females. It's like the highest rate in most of this stuff goes up to is minus 40 Celsius. Meaning like minus 60 or higher. So had to get men's small snow pants. Those are nice. Really nice like straps on them. Adjustable. I'll look good with my gray jacket. I think I'll be able to fit my butt in them. Should be able to. Let's see if our pan's almost hot here. And yeah, my boots. I'll show you my boots once we get these going. Okay, that pan's warm. The boots are like so comfortable. The liner is so thick. It feels like you're on a cloud. Do you want cool stuff like that? That shit costs like money though. Like it's not cheap. It's like about a grand for like the five things that we need. Yeah, the boots are insanely expensive. Okay, let's test this. I'm going to try and not use any fat because the patties are quite fatty. Fatty patties. And then, yeah, we're only going to cook two sandals at a time because I think that's what I can fit. Um, I might be able to get all three, actually. Let's see. And yeah, so we only need that stuff to go from, like, the airport to the site. And that's if anything bad happens, right? Press that down. But then if you like actually work outside, you need different stuff. And yeah, I actually lucked out with a lot of the things that I had to get. It was like mostly on sale still, so that's really good. Nice. Okay, we'll get all three of them done, though, then. Give that a press. And then I just have two extra, which I think I will save for myself during the week so I can have breakfast. I don't want to go grocery shopping again. So this is cranked on this burner right now, just because it is so cold in here and we got to heat up that cast iron real nice. I'm just going to go wash my hands. Yeah, the boots are really nice. And like you think it would be like mine super heavy, but they're so light. They're so light when you put them on. I think they're lighter than my like steel toes even. And there's like three times as much material. Wash our sausage hands. So then, I'm just gonna pop. Where do I wanna put the sausages once they're cooked? Maybe I'll just put this bowl in the oven to warm up. That way it won't cool off the sausage patties when they're done. Yeah, your boots were like nice to travel in. You didn't get too hot on the plane. 
Oh, and that was the other thing, is the boots I got, like, I'm usually a size 7. I got size 9, because of, like, how small the foot area was. <laughs> These are them! <laughs> Boot skis! You can see the liner is, like, so thick. Oh! She, wait, she left the thing on. How did I even leave the store? <laughs> How did that not even go off? Now what? Now what? Rut row. Is that gonna go off in the airport? Ma'am, did you steal these boots? I straight up I didn't. Okay, maybe we'll go to Cabela's tomorrow together. Get the boots fixed. It is funny. This is looking so good. Look at all the fattiness in here. I think it's time to flip it. Yes! I do have some, like, tin... tin snips. Do you think that would work? To cut that? Hmm... Yeah, um... Yeah, currently we got like five hours left, Apple Avocado. Randall should have something to get it off with. Oh, we got the stuff in that shop for sure. Do you think- oh! Will it just explode on me? It's true! It's true! <laughs> what a mess, imagine. Oh, I'm just gonna like cut this off. We don't need that. Just me covered. <laughs> yeah, so inside of that little plastic part I shot, there might literally be like dye that shoots out. <laughs> yeah, if we did it on stream. I got little bats actually is what they are. Little cute bats. Since we won't really have a Halloween stream together. I think we're good. We'll go a little bit longer. I'm gonna flip it back over so that we can brown this one side a bit more. Yeah, sizzles. Look at all that pork fat that we get to cook the egg in. Yes! One. Two. Three. Turn that down a bit. Put those in the oven to stay warm. Boom. Next one. Even the fat back out. We're gonna crack some eggers. Yeah, minus 27 with the wind chill or something up there. That's pretty aggressive. One. Oh gosh. At least you didn't crack the yolk. Two. Three. Wash the handles.
done eggs. And then usually, like, if we're making eggs for a breakfast sandal, sometimes I try and, like, fold the white back onto itself just to fit the sandwich better. Or we can do it when we plate. And then try to also start separating these for each sandwich. So it's gonna go quick. And then hopefully they're not gonna be butt heads and stick here. Let it cook a bit more on this one end or one side. Crispy sausage egg. Yes, Weasel. Are you cooking then? Since you've been watching? Every time you watch, it makes you want to cook? There, we're getting unstuck now. This one looks so crazy. I think I might have that one. Just this one now. There we go. Okay, while these are slowly finishing, I'll just turn down the heat a bit so it doesn't overcook. Get some of our buns. Just put it on the side. It's all clean. And we'll slice those open, kind of get set up to plate, right? Look, can we even make a better brioche? I don't think so. That's why I love making these buns. They always turn out. Like straight up, always. Leave my little topper on the side, I suppose. Now I put seeds everywhere. Okay, what do I wanna do here? I think if I just flip them, quickly mayo, mayo and tomato jam the bun, I don't think I can give my bro the tomato jam. And then we'll flip the eggs and then we'll pop our cheese slices on so that that can get warmed up too. But yeah, we've evened out this heat now. It's gonna be so nice to flip this over. The white's all cooked, which is great. One, two, three. I didn't let the cheese warm up a bit, right? Gets all nice and melty. And then the cheese will also help the egg from not overcooking either after we flip it. Ah! This one's like, no, I will not be flipped. You will.
That one was a double. Move that off of that heat. Get all this monstrosity out of there. <laughs> That's what she said, Kate. Shh, quiet. No, she didn't. She would never say that. <laughs> Go. Go. Hello, June. Wait, you want feta on the egg? Feta is allowed for eggs, it's true. Like the egg is going on brioche, right? So we don't gotta overdo it with the mayo here. Just kind of a barrier, really, from the bread getting soggy. Bam. Mayo. Easy. Next one, we're going to do the greens. Really only need, like, one... One piece of this nice fresh lettuce. Um, and I like to use the top so it's not like too, too, too crunchy. Next one. Did the lettuce before the tomato jam so that it didn't get too soggy when we put the tomato jam on. So only one of these will get the tomato jam. I guess I'll give my bro the option if he wants to try it, but usually he can't have like fresh tomato, even if it's cooked. This is something we've been learning. Put that on mine though, for sure. It's one of my faves. And then we'll do the sausage next and then the egg. Egg is last. Need a bit more light here. It's so dang dark now that it's like wintry. Mm, it's like so many juices. In the bowl still. Let's use that to hold the pan. Perfect. Nice. The cheese like just got soft. So what I'll do for my bro. Just put a little of that on the side for him. That is complete. I'm gonna take this over really quick and then we get to try this. This delicious mess that we have made. Mmm. The lettuce looks so good. There was bad things going on in that lettuce before, though. Okay, I'll be right back.
I am here. Do we... Yeah, do we need... Do we even think there's going to be a yolk explosion? Let's see. Do you want me to do a cut in half? I can. I still got the knife here. <laughs> Rando's face is just like, yes! Ready for this. It will explode. I don't know if it's sat on the the pan too long, but let's see. Might make a really nice photo. Just in case, maybe I'll take a photo of the sandwich just like this. Maybe before it explodes though, we'll get a little photo. If you believe it explodes, it will. Man, that's a stack. You wouldn't know better. You'd think that was a burger. I mean, it kind of is if you think about it, right? Okay, we're going for it. Just gonna go like this. And he's making acorn squash. How are you making it? Just roasting? I laugh if I slice this and we didn't even hit the yolk. Hey! Holy! That looks so beautiful! Look at that cut in half! Could we even get a more like picturesque breakfast sandwich? Like, look at how juicy the pork is. Gently, Kate. It looks better than we would have imagined. Thank you. I'll accept it. Look, at the juices are flowing down my hand. Worth it, though. Now we got an even better photo. Yeah, thick sausage even after we smashed it basically as thin as we could. That's seriously beautiful. All about that lighting in here now. Winter time. Locks it kind of there. It's also why I made this today. So that you guys can hopefully make this for yourself when we're away. Deadly. Okay, we're going for a bite. <laughs> Cookie, they're for sure watching. Uber, stop it. Yeah, you need a breakfast sandwich in your life? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, we gotta smash it. Like, even smashing it, there's still more juices coming out. Put it to the camera. Get it in your face. Hurry, it's dripping. Mm-hmm. Honestly, just as good as I remember. Mmm. 